Hello, and welcome back to Godbreaker. So, we're here near the moth nest again. And I have looked up a walkthrough that uh, Riceberg, I believe, has made. More importantly than the walkthrough, they also made a bunch of maps. They made this, like, 12 maps they made for this mission, just to show where everything is, uh, and more importantly, to show how everything connects together. So, I need to go, ultimately, I do need to get to Glimmer Grove, and I need to get to the temple. Coming here to the Moth Hive was, uh, kind of, uh, a sidetrack at this point, and the previous place I was at, uh, well, the temple, the temple with the, uh, all the crane in. Oh, shit. It's not seen me, is it? No. The temple with the crane in is also a place that's important, but not yet. So I need to get back through the caves here. Hopefully find my way through the cave. Unfortunately, there's not a very clear map of the caves. Oh, wait. Is this... Let's get where I think it goes. Alright, yeah, this is the weird haunted lantern -y sort of place. That's right. Yeah. And there it is. And I don't know whether that's going to hurt me, but I imagine odds are it will, because everything else in this place hurts me. So I'm just going to kind of wait for it to move on. I've only got six hit points, so I've got no more healing, so I do need to be careful about this. Uh, about things here. Yeah. Oh, no, don't come this way. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. God, this water dam slows me down as well. Alright. Ah, getting stuck in everything. Moving around is not something that's easy to do in this level. Well, that's for sure. Alright. Uh, I think it was chasing me, but uh, it's... Yes, I've lost me. I'll take it. Now, the word cave entrance here. This is how I got in here. He's over here. <sighs> right, here's the cave. Okay, back towards the temple then. It's got a purple room. Right, so down in the blue water is definitely the way. If we go down to the caves, into the water is the way to get to that. Back to the moth hive. Try and remember that. Here. Oh. Wait, don't these both just go outdoors again? Oh no. Wait, yes. Oh, it's the other one. I've come the wrong way. Alright. No good. Well, note yourself. When we're in the blue water, once we get to the purple room, 
Uh, the way back to the temple is back past the blue crystals. I'll take that. Go up here. This is the room of the spider, right? And the spider's our landmark for doing back to the temple, I think. Right, here we go. The red, green, and blue rooms. The green is the temple. Okay. Uh, yeah, as I said, the map, there isn't a detailed map of the caves, unfortunately, because that's really what gets me turned about all the time. It's a map of some of the caves, but it's a little less than clear to me. Alright, which way here? Okay, well that's easy to tell. Right, here we are back at the temple. So let me just put on my... Uh, Man head. There we go. So I can wander here in peace. Right, well, uh, firstly, I have missed a couple of things here in the temple, but I'm not sure they're really relevant just yet. Um, apparently, there's a couple of doors like this. I saw, I saw a Coming like this before and thought it was a door, but the problem is it's hard to tell if it's a door or not. Because you just get here and it's just, oh, this is wall carving. You're supposed to be able to lever it open with a knife or something. I don't know how. Where's my head? Before they come back. So that's one. I'll take a look at that later. The other one is if I get down to the room that we found, the one with the locked gate and the two fires, go on, go. which is this way, oh yeah, this, I, need a, I need a key for this safe, but uh, that's going to come later, yeah, right, in here, there's the stairs up here as well. And apparently there's uh, a switch up here. Oh yeah! It's like uh, the mission designer kind of wrote in uh, to people saying, I don't know why everyone seems to miss this, but there's this lever missing on the wall. And it's like, yeah, well, it's this tiny little thing there. And it doesn't even highlight as you come up to it if you're wearing a crayon mask, because you can't actually interact with things. So I missed that. It needs, it's a lever slot, so when that happens, oh, not a key, when that comes up in the uh, normal missions, you find a lever handle to stick in there, but nope, it's a knife. Alright, well, I'll take it. So here we have a second room with... Uh, place for ashes and there is another plate another thing of ashes somewhere but firstly we get the firekeeper's amulet and that's important because that means the uh, fire things shouldn't hurt us right got a little ink and in here Hopefully I keep more loot. Else. But I would like a healing potion too if we find one anywhere. Right, so this is one room I missed. And there's this lever hiding in the wall. Wait, wait. How come I can hear footsteps now? Oh, balls. What is that? What did I wake up there? I hadn't intended to wake up any undead. Apparently.
shit. Well, this is not good for me. Because I have... Out of my way. Because I have no weapons whatsoever. Help me, friends. Kill these things for me. Oh, it sounds like they killed the cream man. Uh, maybe I don't want to do that yet. Maybe I really don't want to do that yet. Whoa! Uh, that's not lava. What? I should be in the lava to kill myself, but, uh... Huh? <clears throat> Alright. I'm gonna reload. Because I just don't have the equipment to deal with these bloody guys. So, here we are. Back here again, I will leave the crew men, I will leave the various mysteries to their own devices, I guess. Although, look, is there a switch here that I missed? Apparently, this, this, this one also opens. But, uh, I might have to look too hard for it if it doesn't kind of show up. Yeah, never mind. Uh, where's the way down? It's here, right? No, ah, oh, well, this will do. Alright, so, apparently. When I get the Firekeeper's Medallion, I've got some, uh, undead to worry about, so I guess that's when I need to summon the Fire Demons right away. Uh, sorry, but to do that, I'm gonna need Ashes, and to do uh, anyway, I will worry about that later. Right, I don't need my Crayman Mask right now. Where am I going? I need to go to Glimmer Grove, which is going to northeast. Did it come from here? Well, there's only the south. Yeah, I think that's the way I came in. So, apparently, if I go through these tunnels, I can find in the grove. Which I just missed entirely before. Alright, here we have uh I've been here before. Don't remember where these tunnels went. But I'll try to go just generally go northeast I guess. As much as possible. lantern, but that's a new one. I think this is the way to Glimmer Grove. What? You only took one before. I'm running out of broadheads. thing. Another picture plant. Am I going the right way here? I don't know. Oh well, there's another one. I do see some kind of building over there though. There's a wisp to make me highly visible. Just what I need. <sighs> More 
to plants. Or is this just ruins? Wait. Pagans. Now, is that the prisoner we freed? I don't know. Let's hope so. A thing. Mulvert. No. Hey! You no, you're not. Allowed here, mad fool. Ready to die? No, I'm not ready to die yet. Where's the friend? Where's my friend? Come out, and you won't be hurt. Not genius. You'll be here somewhere. Oh, there's my friend. Is you afraid of a little fightings? Yes. Let's go. I'd be afraid of a little fightings because I only have six hit points. Wait to hear. Remember, bees calling you when it be safe. I be your nightmare. Come on, I'm a friend. Tell him I'm a friend. Earwigs makers you hear things wrong. Glimmer Grove names you Fred. You bees welcome. Thank you. Are you my Are you my friend now? Nice face paint. Put it down there. Well, it's probably hazardous to my health like everything else. Alright. Here we are at Glimmer Grove, the pagan hideout, which I completely failed to find before because the approach to it was just another exit from the caves. It looked like everything else. I mean, they call me friend. Does that mean they mind me stealing from them? I don't know. Guess we're going to find out. Snakesy, Hawthorn bees needing your help. Okay. It's my precious twin. We were out gathering fruit, and she spies some good Jacksberry up in a tree. We were too far from homes, but Twig has always she loves to climb, and I was careful to watch for creepsies. I look away for a second, and then Mothsies, damn flying creepsy. Mm -hmm. Swoops he down and takes my twiggers away. I still be hearing her screams for daddy through the trees. Forever I use it. Poor Twigsies. My lotus petal. Father couldn't help you. I'm sorry, but I doubt she's still alive after. No, this bee's happening only a short time ago. The Mopsies bees keeping their catchings always fresh. Until feeding times. She bees alive, I knows it. There bees a nest, three crags to the west. Hard to get to without wings, and lots of creepsies on the way. Hawthorne has no hopes of making it. But I be seen the way you move through the shadows. A sneaksy like you might just be making it. Well, I've already been there. Okay. I, uh, I'll try. Oh, much thanking, Sneaksy. The Mopsy Speeds are feared of fire, but Hawthorne Bees having no builder magics. Maybe Embry knows. You goes now. Woods he give you wings? <coughs> New objectives. Rescue Twig from the giant moths whose hive is nearby. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ticked off this one. Free the prisoner and the pagans will be grateful. Excellent. All right, so Twig, Twig, this is apparently your daughter that you lost, not not Twig. Okay. Well, I know where the moths are. I didn't see any sign of Twig there, but I wasn't really looking out for captured prisoners. He said the moths are afraid of fire. Oh, hang on. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. a jar with some bugs. So, because we, we got a shopping list for bugs. And that was a dragonfly, I think. Here we are. Two dragonflies, two butterflies, and one hawk moth. Uh, maybe Embry knows, he said. Because something about moth deterrence. 
Maybe anybody knows indeed. Your fire's nice and warm, but would you mind going and taking a look outside so I can steal from you? Thank you. Broadheads. Excellent. I am gonna need some of them, I think. Welcome, friend. Greetings and salutations from Glimmer Grove. Word has reached my ears of Grimroot's rescue. For that, you have my thanks. I am Cypress, shaman of Glimmer Grove. Shaman? You don't talk like a pagan. I am indeed shaman, but I was not raised in the bosom of the woodsy lord. If I had to place you by your accent, I'd say you hailed from Blackbrook. A highborn lady, like as not. What's a noble from the courts of Blackbrook doing all the way out here? You have a good ear, my illustrious rogue. I was indeed born in Blackbrook to a noble house. In my youth, I saw... Well, never mind all that. I'm here now. What no doubt pious undertaking brings you to our fair grove? I am searching for an ancient relic. Its last known resting place was this swamp. A relic of the ancient order of the Knights of the Shining Sun, I'm sure. Yes. I recall the legends, but I've seen no sign of Elden or his knights. You could ask Brother Embry. He's up in the chapel. He can be rather insightful when he's not proselytizing. Chapel. In any case, I wish you luck on your quest. Perhaps, while searching for this relic, you'd consider helping us again? And what would you have me do? Deep in the swamp, an ancient woodsy temple lies in ruin. You may have come across it already. My people seek to return to this temple and restore it to its former glory, but it's currently overrun with Kraemen. We've tried many times to take it back by force, but we failed, and now we lack the numbers to make another attempt. It would take a sizable group of well-armed and armored fighters to take that temple back. I don't think I can help you there. I suspect there is another way. A way more suited to one with your skill. Suspect? Before it became a woodsy temple, it belonged to the ancient precursors as a sanctuary to worship the elements. Specifically, one of their fire gods. Ancient precursor lore speaks of wandering fire guardians that protected the place day and night. Well, it sounds like those days are long gone since it's overrun with craze. Not to mention the considerably damp environment. I found writings that had been passed down to the shaman before me. They talk of a great mouth that was cooled with a drink of water in order to keep away the fiery ones. Poetic nonsense. Perhaps. But I've pieced together a plan. According to the standard Precursor Temple layout, somewhere in that temple lies a brazier that was used to summon fire elementals. If we can activate it, they should do our job for us and destroy all the craze. But then you have the elementals to contend with. A single splash of water will snuff an elemental. Not so with craze. The elementals are the stone, the craze are the scissors, and you're the parchment. After they're destroyed, you must find a way to deactivate the brazier. Then, return to me. Oh, it's just that simple. <laughs> By all means, you're free to fight them instead. As long as the craze are destroyed, I don't care how it's done. Take it or leave it. If you try my idea, it should be fairly simple. So you want me to sneak into an ancient temple that's completely overrun with Kraigman and figure out how to kill them all? Sounds easy enough. Please tell me why this is in my interest. Money talks, but I'm afraid we don't have much in the way of gold. This swamp is full of fell creatures. Among them is the giant Dreadmoth. Their wings emit a toxin which will weaken and kill their prey. But I've concocted a potion which will make you immune to their devices for a while. Help us, and it's yours. Right then. I'll suddenly consider it. Okay, so you want all the craze dead. And for some reason you know 
a lot about the precursor temples and standard layouts. Which is odd, because I thought nobody knew about the precursors, but... Healing potion! <laughs> and if I help you kill all the Krays, to get an objective for it, by the way. Yeah, get rid of all the enemies in the ruined temple for the pagan shaman. Right. Uh, all the enemies. There'll be the Krays, there'll be the undead, and the fire elemental, but... Fire elementals will be my friend. Then you'll come back, you'll give me a potion to protect me from the moths. Which means I can go back to the moth nest and rescue Twig, I suppose. Alright. Alright, I think we can do business. I'm still not sure how many of this gets me to the sword, but uh, maybe I'll find that out. Is this the chapel? Is this a hammerite place? No, yeah, so it is. Hello, hammerite man. Hammer man. Well met, brother. I beg you, pay no heed to the state of this house of the builder. Tis a work in progress. I suppose you're coming from the city? Or maybe Blackbrook, by the look of you? One of those. Tell me, what's a hammerite doing now to the middle of this festering bog with a pack of unbelieving pagans? Surely your sermons would be more welcome elsewhere. Ha <laughs> ha, this is true, but the words of the Builder are for all men, brother. It must be proclaimed even unto these far reaches. If not me, then who? <sighs> also, I did grow weary of seeing the decadence of city life rot away the souls of my brethren. They've abandoned charity and have forgone the virtues of grace and mercy. It's become a sad state indeed. But I digress. Why is it that you come here, brother? I would think your motives much different than mine own. I am seeking the tomb of Sir Eldon. Various sources point to this area as a good place to start. Ah, yes, the Knights of the Shining Sun. A goodly sort, though it wouldn't do well to mention them around this lot. I too have read that the tomb is hidden somewhere in the area. In fact, I meant to perhaps find it and bless it one day. Many years ago, one of my brethren sought the tomb. Old Brother Abel. He journeyed deep into these swamps and was never seen again. I've got a few old tomes on the knights in here somewhere. You're welcome to them, if you think they'd help in your search. Yes. I'll take all the help I can get. As will I, dear brother. Sir Eldon's tomb was once an essential pilgrimage for our order, and the font it housed was renowned for the blessings it dispensed to faithful travelers. But alas, I fear it has fallen into disrepair after all these years. As I said before, I have long dreamt of blessing it and returning it to its former glory, but ill luck and the trickster's foul legions have prevented me from finding it. You seem a capable sort. If you can bless the reservoir from which the font flows, perhaps you can banish the shadow which has fallen over this land for a time. Here, take this. Oh, and if you come across the remains of our lost brother, please bring me a token of his fate. Abel was a pious man, and his rosary would not be far from his side. That's a tall order, but I'll see what I can do. If you can make it worth my while. I have little to offer beyond a blessing or rousing discussion of theological paradoxes, but you're most welcome to anything of use you can find in this chapel. Additionally, in your travels, if you come across any ancient writings on Elden or the Order, either from pious or pagan pens, you can sell them to me. I have a little gold left over from the city, but it doesn't do me much good here. Alrighty then. I return Abel's rosary to Brother Embry. And. What's the blessed water for? 
I must admit, I uh, kind of drifted off during his talk there, and uh, it didn't make note of what that was supposed to be about. Oh, brother, thank you for returning Abel's rosary. It is a good deed you have done. Saint Maximil watched out over the blades that they keep as their edge. Saint Tobias watched the over the counterweights that they never shoot. So you're not giving me anything Saint in exchange Bremer for that. Watched the over the boilers that they burn neither or hot nor or hot ah, cold. Not giving me anything in exchange for the rosary. All right. Uh, but it's just an optional quest. Cool. Well, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll read your books. In my last letter, our most excellent Adamara. I informed you of how Elden first forged armor. I included footnotes with some explanation because you had expressed confusion in other letters, and I felt it prudent to avoid such in future. I apologize if they seemed patronizing in any way. I assure you that was not my intent. You'll be pleased to hear that the Southern Pass has now dried out since the thaw, and is once more being used as a means of trade. I intend to send you everything I have gathered thus far on the order, all packaged with care, by horse and cart, very soon. Thank you for the lovely brandy. It has kept me in good spirits these past nights. For now, allow me to tell you of how the Order was first formed. Once again, this is a compilation of accounts from various sources, some more reliable than others. I have tried to clean the dusty lens of history by separating fact from fable, but this is hard to do with scant primary sources. The founding of the Divine Order of the Knights of the Shining Sun. The Trickster's forces were scattered to the four winds in fear of Elden's iron-skinned army. None could stand against them. They seemed impervious to any weapon of the enemy, barring the twisted magics of the trickster himself. Though Elden and his people feared little from the forces of chaos, other men throughout the land still lay in hiding, fearing to journey from their simple dwellings. Elden contemplated this and called forth his closest advisers in council. There was Sir Marques the Swift of the Riverlands, Sir Laird the Just from the hill country to the west, Sir Boyd the Wise of Elden's own house, and Sir Fergus the Laird. Elden's own scribe from the Eastern Mountains. After much talk, the idea arose of a divine order of knights who would do more than just defend their own, but would travel to and fro, throwing down the trickster's temples and slaying his creatures wherever found. As a sigil, a sun emblem was chosen because of how the sun's light reflected brightly upon their armor, just as they were meant to reflect the light of the Builder to all men. And thus the order of the Knights of the Shining Sun arose. All throughout the land, man began to creep out of hiding, and many took up the cause, forging what meager armor they could. The trickster's forces were beaten back. The way of things was steadily becoming inversed. Now it was man who roamed to and fro doing as they pleased, and it was the beasts of the trickster who crept into holes and dark forests, fearful of man and his iron fists. Let my hand be steady, your builder. What about this one? It's been quite some time since I rescued Hawthorne from the Dreadmoth. I fear that it is the only reason these people tolerate my presence, that and the Builder's fire should any fellow creatures encroach. Fire is especially effective against most everything that lives here. Despite this, still no progress on any sort of conversation. Fortunately, I am a patient man. Repairs continue on this decaying house of the Builder. The moths are getting more bold of late. Twice last week I had to dodge small groups of them moving through the trees not far from here. Typically, one or two of the earthbound females were accompanied by several winged male guards. Whether hunting or scouting, I know not. Hammerite expeditions typically carry explosives to open paths through stone. If I could only find the remains of Brother Abel, I could gather whatever they haven't used to build some type of bomb. Then there remains the difficult matter of slipping unnoticed into the hive and placing it in just the right spot to, just to start a chain reaction to kill them all. Of course I haven't the skill to carry out such a thing. Should the Builder grant me the strength, it would surely convince this lot of his superiority over their woodsy demon. I shall prey on it. New objectives. Find the abandoned explosive device near the moth hive and use it to wipe out the hive. Alright, well, I uh, found it before but couldn't pick it up, but I guess now that I have the objective, I should be able to do so. Alright, one more book. Thorax in the parlor. Alright, that's a short one. Well, sir, uh, despite your 
rather rudimentary chapel. I see you have lots of stained glass. Also, you talk too much. I think that's all it. That's it for Glimmergrove, right? So he wants some moths destroyed. There's something about the... Oh, I was going to say, when did I get another healing potion from? But it was in the cellar there. I have this blessed water. I can use it on something. Uh, I'm not sure what. Okay. Get on the roof, but I don't see this much point in doing so. I can sneak around, but I don't need to sneak around as long as they're friendly to me, so... Oh, did I come in here? Well, if I didn't, well, I didn't really miss out on much. Alrighty. I think that's a sort of waterfall. Okay, that's that explains it. Water. Right, Glimmer Grove has done glimmering. Oh right, yeah, this is just the river. Not a waterfall, okay. Well, thank you for not shooting me earlier. It'll let you try it. Um Three beasts. Yeah. Mm hmm. Although apparently, one of the bugs I need, speaking of which, is here. straight past the thing. Well, let's see if I can capture that. Capture that in my uh, jar of bugs. Let's wait for it to come back. She can't go too close to the tree beast or they'll wake up. There it is again. Goes near the picture. Yep. Hard to see this uh, moth. Alright. Ouch. Well, we caught it. Two bugs out of the five on the shopping list. Alright. Uh, Back to the caves then. I think. Is that the cave I came in? Or is that a different cave? What? I heard the sound of somebody falling and... I'm trying to stay away from the haunted lantern, but... Uh, I was just standing here and I heard, heard the sound of somebody getting hurt and falling down. That's odd. I'm gonna... Just take a look around here. Oh, indeed. Uh, somebody became unconscious there. I guess they got hit. Oh, this is our friend. I guess he got hit by the lantern. Let's take him back to the village. Maybe they'll know what to do with him there. I have to rescue him twice. It's just ridiculous. Ma'am, your friend is hurt. Don't you care? Okay, let's take him to the shaman. The shaman should be able to help him if anyone can, right? Yep. 
Not sure why I'm doing this particularly, but it's okay. There's a victim for you of the wandering floaty magic lanterns. Okay. Back again. I don't know where I'm going, it's not so bad to navigate, but uh, I don't know where I'm going. This place is a real maze. Oh, there's a magic land. Now, I don't think I've been in that cave, right? I think I came from that side originally. I don't know what's up with these lanterns either. That's kind of definitely confusing and creepy. Right. Oh no, this is the way I came in. Okay. So what is over here where the lantern goes where I found that fellow unconscious? I guess that's worth a bit of exploration. Okay. It's coming back. Let's just sit in the corner and wait for it to go around the around the side there, and uh, I can explore wherever that leads. Yeah. Oh. So it doesn't always go around the side. Okay. Randomized path. Excellent. Means I have to wait. Patience is a virtue I have little of. I don't have much other choice here. The way it clips into the rock is uh, disconcerting. Alright, he's going around the corner this time. What have we got here? Uh, more bones. Is this what the blessed water is for? Putting on the piles of bones. Nope. I don't know what the blessed water is for. Alright, well we've got a pile of bones. To worry about. Okay, so this is Glimmer Grove. And we have one pile of bones, which I marked there. I don't know what they're for, but we have a pile of bones. And we found some else, some other piles of bones on the way, but I have no idea where. This is the temple. And this is the moth nest. So when it updated my map, Apparently, before, what I was doing, I was drawing these arrows showing how things connected. Which was not entirely helpful when I was here in Nilbog telling him that uh, it would tell me how to get to Glimmer Grove and then drew some arrows here. Because I didn't even know how to get here, of course. Um, and this is the tomb of St. Elden that I need to go to. It's, wow. All right. Back in these caves. Get rid of all the enemies in the ruined temple. So right now the Kraymen are not a threat for me. The undead certainly are. I don't really think I can tackle them with a sword, although I do have some healing now. Um, so I really want the f to get the fire things to deal with them, I suppose. I could maybe do that now-ish. Rescue twig from the giant moths is also possible, but I need the explosive and preferably the moth, uh, the poison antidote or, or poison resistance potion um, that the shaman will give me. So, temple first is probably the right plan. 
I wish I remembered what that guy said to do about the uh, blessed water, but uh, I will find out later. Right. Where does that take me? I don't know. This, this I believe, is the way back to the temple, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that way, that other way goes around the circles. Someone was sleeping here and we stole their stuff. Onward. And we are back at the temple. Well, nearly. Right. Well. Leave that there for the moment. Where's my where's my mask? I want I want my mask. There we go. It's too hard to save. In case something goes horribly wrong. So what I need to do now, go back and open that door. Let out some fire elementals. Actually I can let out fire ele elementals first, right? Because I have the amulet, they should leave me alone. Oops, sorry mate. After you. Clickety clack. Creak. Uh, not that side, it's uh, the other side. Don't mind me, I'm just going to summon some fire elementals which will probably kill you all. Leave me alone. As promised. Although, possibly not if I disguise myself as a crow man, I don't know. I'll be safer not to. Going for the uh, fire elementals, it would seem. They're all definitely riled up. Hmm. Right, well, let's test this theory that the fire elementals will leave me alone, huh? I'll just stay out of the line of fire. They should ignore me. No? Uh, hang on. I've got this amulet. Where's my amulet? Ow! Oh, wait, I don't have the amulet. That? Yeah, because I didn't pick it up. Yes, I don't have the amulet, like, amulet yet. Great. Because it's downstairs. And that thing is upstairs. Alright, so I'm going to have to do that once more. Hmm. Although... See, what I'm thinking about is when I picked up the amulet before, that's when all the undead was summoned. I'm wondering... So I can easily get down here. I'm gonna just drop down before the fire elementals spawn. Then I can run around here before the fire elementals have a chance to see me and get in here and go get the amulet. I think that's actually my best plan of attack. All right, well, let's not run around. Let's just start back there. So I should have done this. Uh... 
Just the right move. We have to wait for him to go, so he's not going to get angry at me right away. Bye, friend. Okay. Keep my mask on for the moment. So now I can... That will wake up some fire elementals for me, and I can go get the amulet. Coming up here. I don't really have a good plan for uh, staying out of the way of uh, any undead. That bothers me. But I do at least uh, have fire, ele fire elementals who should be on my side. Yeah, but uh, very shortly. So here's another one I need to light up, but I need some more ashes first. But with this amulet... Right, we've got the undead. I can hear the undead. The question is, where am I going to hide from the undead? Hide under the stairs. Uh, as silly an idea as that is. But they won't be able to get me there. Let's assume, I can't use the amulet, so let's just assume having it is enough to protect me from those fiery things. Let's just make a run for it. Come and meet my fiery friends! Wait, 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 wait! I have the amulet! Eh. Oh. Okay. The amulet protects me from you, but doesn't stop you attacking me. But you do kill the undead as well. So that's alright. Dead that are going to be coming after me. Not yet, apparently. Right, so here we have more loot and another jar of ashes. Which I can use in the upstairs one. I guess to make more fireballs? Do I need to make more fireballs? I mean, fire elementals? I don't know. <laughs> so, I've got to get rid of all the enemies, right? It's not good enough just... Oh dear, look at all this mess. 
not good enough just to uh, get rid of the Kremlin. At least according to that objective. Wait, I did... Did that one. Oh, it's the one down here. Up oh, these other stairs, of course. Duh. Well, yeah, I told you those were going to open, didn't I? Totally called it. I wonder if there's any down in the catacombs that haven't opened yet. I should probably run down there and have a look. First, we got another jar of... Not bugs, we've got a jar of ashes here. Jar of ashes. Yeah. And I have a few fire arrows. So we can use one here. And summon some more friends. I guess. Yeah. Oh, don't shoot me. Come downstairs. Way of the catacombs, I'm not sure I remember. Oh, it's down here. Actually, while you're there, I should get another friend too, right? Come on. Chloe, friends. Come to the catacombs, see if any more mummies have, have arisen. I don't want to have to fight them. Actually, I should run down there and if, if any have arisen, I should just bring them out, right? Well, it actually seems pretty, uh, pretty clear of enemies. Alright. Back out. See, that was one that looked... Oh! Well, there's loot I missed. That's okay. Oh, because I didn't really uh, look down here very thoroughly before, did I? I might have missed more loot because I was hide trying to hide from the crew man. Because I couldn't take my mask off without being spotted. So definitely worth a quick scout for any more shinies. Does look like that was it. All right, all right. Okay, so now, now what? We need to go. Uh, that's the lava. That's not where we want to go. Just want to pick that up. I think I need to go put out all the fires and fire elementals now. Now they've uh, resolved the cream man problem for me and the undead problem. I seem to have killed this group of fire elementals. Okay. Put out these ones as well. I wonder if putting out these fires would have killed all the undead that arose here. I don't know. See, I'm not sure if they woke up from me taking the amulet or if they woke up from me pulling the lever that opened this gate. I shall never know. Let's go put out the other fire. say it's an interesting change being immune to these guys. Normally uh, you have to be very careful not to let them uh, shoot fireballs too close to your position. So quite deadly. 
more water arrows. I'm down to seven, that's right. I don't actually have to kill all the individual fire elementals, which is nice. So, not having enough water arrows is actually not really a problem. Uh, let's kill all the Kremen eggs as well. So, all the Kremen are dead, the undead are dead again. The fire elementals are all gone. So, what's missing? Why? The objective hasn't ticked off yet. Is there another enemy hiding around? That waiting to trigger the objectives every cray wanted cray no oh, every cray I wanted cray bonus objective for killing all the baby crays okay cruel monster I just remember there is this one out here who I knocked out right he's unconscious not dead So, uh, let's fix that. Let's bring him in with the rest. And, uh, I'm sorry, mate, but, uh... Okay, all enemies in the Rune Temple are now dead. Now, we just go back to Glimmer Grove, if I can find my way there. And, uh... Oh, this one arrow keeps coming back. Okay, that's handy. No, it's not this way. I can find my way to Glimmer Grove. Which is upstairs. Then back to the shaman. Get the moth protection thing. Then we can go to the moth's hive. This whereas one bug beast still that's this way. One bug beast still alive, but a bunch of moths, which are more, which were killing me. So, uh, which way was it? This way, I think. Yeah, this is through the green, and it'll get me to the red, green, and blue room, right? The red, green, and blue room. I go towards blue. Yeah, there's a landmark spider, right? So then it was not the blue. Wait, well, it was down into the water. That's right. From the water, I got to the purple room, and the purple room. Well, one of these ways led to Glimmer Grove, as well as a bunch of other spots. That's not Glimmer Grove. That's uh, the downstairs of where the explosive device was. Well, this is the way to the explosive device, not Glimmer Grove. Well, that's all right. I can. I can do that. Deal with that. Uh... Oh, hang on. I see another insect. Where's my jar of bugs? Jar of bugs. Where did you go, moth? Three bugs. Excellent. And I've got an explosive device. But can I find my way to Glimmer Grove? Always a good question. It's not that way. Which means I definitely took a wrong turn here somewhere. North and east. Uh, not that it's really going to help me. 
Wait, this is just the purple room again, right? Is it this way? Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, maybe it's the other side of here? Oh, it's just bloody slow water. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, but what is terrible? I wait for the weird, creepy lantern. You can't really outrun it here. It's definitely coming back now. I'm going to get back around the corner. I'm going to see if my memory is right or wrong. About there being another cave up here that actually takes me through. Still don't know what the deal is with those lanterns, but I guess I'll find out. This isn't the right way, is it? I thought it was another exit from the cave. Guess I will find out. Oh, there's, a, there's another cave there, and bloody hell! Like glue. Oh, and there's snakes in the water. Just forgotten about. Oh, yes, this is it. This is it. Yeah. No. This is the moth hive. This isn't Glimmer Grove. Sigh. Can I see the snakes? Oh, it's right there. Visible. Yeah, when you're stuck, unable to move. It's definitely not making my list of favorite missions. That's for damn sure. The bugs, the snakes, the moths of doom. I mean, it's. I like this. I like the uh, difference in setting. Don't come over here. Oh, we've had this before, haven't we? No, don't kill me. Ah, I just can't move. Get out of the bloody water of doom. Fuck. Phew. So, wait, did I just go entirely the wrong way? Oh, that was some, my, maybe my memory was telling me the directions to the moth cave, not to, not to Glimmer Grove. I guess that's what confused me here. Is this the way to Glimmer Grove? North-ish? North and east? That's the temple. Uh, still don't know if this hurt me, but not particularly keen on finding out. That's well, west. Oh, 
that's not Glimmer Grove, that's where I came into this bloody mess of caves. Although, if I want to collect more bugs, I will need to collect them out there. I'm at... No wonder I couldn't find Glimmer Grove before, I certainly can't find it again now. Temple again. <sighs> this is confusing me a lot. Maybe it's not these tunnels, maybe these are the wrong tunnels. These ones only go to the Moth's Hive. And there is another set of tunnels I should be remembering. Those are like western tunnels. Used. Is there another set of tunnels out here? Or is this an alternate way from here then? You know, I think it is. I think it is this. I think it is this way. Right, so the Glimmer, if this is correct, then Glimmer Grove. Yeah, that's 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 where the guys we found the sleeping stuff. So Glimmer Grove is before the temple entrance, okay, and the moth hive and stuff is after it. Yes, this is the this is the Glimmer Grove entrance. All right. Yet another one of those. Ridiculous flashing lanterns, but uh, I oh, wait, it's not this way at all. Sorry, Latin man. Actually, doesn't seem to respond to my presence much, so I don't know. I don't know if that's just luck or what. Luck or not, here we are. Hello, please keep the monsters at bay for me. Thank you. All right, safety. Let's see if I can get a nice screenshot angle. Okay, well, it's been an hour, so I'm gonna end the episode here and uh, make myself a cup of tea and I will see you here when I get back. Thanks for watching.